The next topic is about resistor, color, coding. Materials needed para sa ating topic, resistor color coding. So, this is the resistor, carbon composition resistor. Ito din, is, um, carbon composition resistor na nakalagay sa breadboard. And then, kailangan natin ng uh, multi-tester para ma-determine natin yung kanyang resistance value. So, we have two ways to determine yung resistance value ng isang resistor. One is the resistor color coding. Pabasahin yung mga color coded value niya. And then, yung isa naman is using ohmmeter. So, ano nga ba ang resistor? O what is the purpose or the usage of a resistor? So, the main purpose and usage of a resistor is to control or limit the amount of current in the circuit. So, kinokontrol niya yung flow ng current sa circuit or nililimit niya yung amount ng current sa circuit. So, we have two types of resistor. One is carbon composition and then the other one is wire wound. So, this is the symbol for the resistor. So, in different types and then classification. For the classifications of a resistor, so we have fixed resistor, semi-variable, and then variable resistor. So, ano yung example nun? So, for the carbon film, carbon composition, metal film, metal oxide, is an example of a fixed resistor. While potentiometer, variable resistor, is a variable resistor. Also, for the potential sensor, is a fixed resistor. So, ito naman yung ginagamit natin para sa mga LDR or um, light depending resistor. Okay? So, yun yung mga ginagamit para sa uh, mag-auto off or on yung ating ilaw na gagamitan ng photo resistor. Then, wire wound. So, ito is example for the ceramic. It's wire wound and then surface mount and then the um, thermistor. Okay? So, for color coding, so we have 4 bonds, 5 bonds, and then 6 bonds. 4 bonds, example, is yung apat yung kanyang color dito. And then, yung 5 bonds naman is lima. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 also is the 6 bonds. Okay? So, paano ba natin yan babasahin? Okay. So, we have color-coded uh, from black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, gray, white. Then, we have for the tolerance is gold, sil silver, and then none or no band. Okay? So, we have first significant or the first digit, second significant, the multiplier, and then the tolerance. So, ito lang yung pwede natin tandaan dyan kahit hindi na yung susunod. Okay, except for the tolerance value. Okay, so this is the example for reading the color-coded value ng ating carbon composition for the fixed resistor. So, we have here an example ng four bands. So, yung unang kulay is the first digit. The next one is the second digit. The third one is the multiplier. And then, yung nasa dulo, yung mas malayo ng konti is yung ating tolerance value. So, paano ba yan basahin ngayon? So, let's say example. For color code value, so we have red, blue, white, and then gold. For the resistance value, since yung red is 2, so we have 2, 6, multiplied by 10 to the positive 9, plus or minus 5%. Okay. So, red is 2, blue is 6, and then, yung white natin, yung third, is the multiplier. So, white is 9, so times 10 to the positive 9, gold is plus or minus 5%. So, we have here a 10 to the positive 9, or the resistance value must be equal to 26 giga ohms. Okay? So, pwede natin basahin dyan, 26 times 10 to the positive 9, plus or minus 5% ohms or convert into prefixes 26 giga ohms. Another example green, yellow, black, silver. Where green is yellow, black, and silver, I 
5 for green, yellow is 4, then black is 10 to the 0, or any number raised to 0 is equals to 1. So therefore, the resistance value is equals to 54 ohms, plus or minus 10%. Another example, red, orange, violet, gold. Red is 2, orange, violet, then gold, I so 2, orange is 3, then violet is 7, so multiplier 10 to the positive 7, plus or minus 5% for gold. Or, convert natin para sa kanyang resistance value ay magiging 230 mega ohms. Why? Kasi ito, it's 10 to the positive 7, convert into prefixes, so we have mag-a-add tayo dito ng isa pang 2 o aatras tayo dito ng isa para siya is maging 10 to the positive 6 or mega. Okay? Violet, white, red. So, what is the resistance value? 79 times 10 to the positive 2. So, violet is 7, white is 9, two, red is 2. So, 10 to the positive 2 or 7900, 7900, plus or minus 20% kasi it's no band or the value is 7.9 kilo ohms. Galing dito yung decimal point, move ng isa para maging positive 3, so 7.9 kilo ohms. Okay? So the other method in determining the value of the resistor is using ohmmeter. Okay. So ito yung example natin para sa mga resistor natin. So let's say example, ito yung gamitin natin or i-measure natin ng resistance niya using ohmmeter. So itong resistor na to is meron siyang color-coded value na brown, green, black, and then gold. For brown is 1, and then green is 5. Then the third naman, ang multiplier niya is black, is 10 to the 0. So, ibig sabihin, it's 1. Okay? And then per gold is plus or minus 5%. So, ibig sabihin, in color-coded value, ang resistance value niya is 15 ohms. So, tingnan natin ngayon using ohmmeter. So, katin natin ngayon siya. So, ilagay natin yung probe magkabila. Then, yung magiging resistance value niya ay nasa R times 1 ang gamit natin. R times 1. And then, ang kanyang resistance value ay ilan? So, it's lampas siya ng or malapit sa 15. O, pwede siya as 16 ohms. Okay? So, nakuha. So, color-coded value Brown, green, black, and then gold. So, it's 15 ohms using color-coded value. And then, using ohmmeter, it's 16 ohms. Another example. So, we have here, this is store na meron tayong color-coded value na red, black, red, and then gold. So, therefore, yung ating resistance value is 2,000 ohms plus or minus 5%. So, it's 2, 0, and then 10 to the positive 2, and then 5%. Okay? So, test naman natin ngayon using ohmmeter. Kung sa color-coded natin, ang value niya is 2,000 na, so, i pwede mo na siyang yung ohmmeter natin, pwede mo na siya ilagay sa mas mataas na value. So, pwede siya is 100, pwede times 10, times 100, 1K, and then ano. Pero ako, nilagay ko dito sa times 100. Okay? So, tingnan natin yung magiging value niya. Test natin. Probe. And then, yung kanyang um, range na ginamit ko is times 100. Yung kanyang resistance value is 20. So, 20 multiplied by 100, it's 2,000. So, 2,000 ohms. Pareho siya nung value ng 
color coded are you okay so color coded it's 2000 ohms same as pagdating sa ohmmeter 2000 ohms din okay